Hey guys, uh, our responsible back here um, with part six of the park. Uh, let's get started in this again. Uh, it's really starting to creep me the hell out. Uh, it's getting very scary. Made me jump quite a few times now, and now there are floating chairs in. It looks like okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please. Okay, go up to one of these floating chairs and. Fuck gravity! Alright! I can launch things into the air. Um, I'm gonna not go over to that guy right away. This is where the dead body was. The dead body is still there with the clown in the trash can. That is a Christmas tree made up of teddy bears. Oh god! Oh whoa, that's. Maybe all of this is just like she's just drugged. Maybe she's in the psych ward like right now and this is all just some crazy thing in her head. Oh my god. I think it is. That's my theory right now as it stands, honestly. Okay, let's go over to the guy. Where'd the guy go? Where? I guess I'm supposed to go this way. No. Okay. Oh god, no! the hell that was man was okay she doesn't have anything on her arms anymore was that like the park is a collage of contradictions all of its own millions of people die every year in car crashes and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action here the children scream with joy in the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. So, this is actually supposed to be the witch. This is actually supposed to be the witch's house where Hansel and Gretel go. It's not a clown. It's It's got the hooked nose of a witch. Okay, this is very interesting. Alright, let's pull out that flashlight, lady. Any, any time now? Do I have to click? Callum, where are you? Flashlight? Loading screen of doom! I, I guess this is getting really close to the end, probably. Alright. Enter the mouth of the witch. The witch abyss! The witch abyss! Yeah, that makes sense now. I can totally see that. So yeah, it's all a big uh, symbolic Hansel and thing I guess or something I don't even know but I also feel like she's in a psych ward while we're going through all this we'll find out soon enough I hope uh, uh. hello Wolfie what does it say Atlantic Island Park winter welcomes you Nathaniel winter welcomes you oh he looks creepy yeah, no. <clears throat> Everything in this park's freaking creepy. What the hell? I saw you up there, kid. I don't like those mirrors. That's that's not fun. Oh god! Oh my god! It's a freaking cutout thing. 
this game. I wish you could like smack things in this game. Like I would smack things so hard all the time. Just like, hello, Mr. Demon Man. Demon Ramhorn Ram Horn Man. Oh, we can see what she looks like. Well, I guess we already saw what she looked like in cutscenes, but see what she looks like. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna pull a thing where you see something reflected behind you. I bet. I'm not okay with that. Don't. Don't. Don't do that. Please. Oh man, this game has me so on edge. That thing like scared me too. Okay, these look like things I can read. No? No? Really? I can't read those? That's weird. That's really weird to me. Alright, I'm assuming I can't open doors. Yeah, okay. Um, I really... Really? Yeah! <gasps> Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my 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 god! I don't like it! I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like it! Oh no! There's that guy. I mean, this guy I don't really find very. But you know he's a he's a monster guy. You can't see him down there. Just seeing his creepy shadow. I don't want to look in the mirror. The mirror freaks me out. What are you doing standing right there? I don't like that. Get out. Do something scary. Really scary. Headphones make me jump so much higher, too. Uh-uh. Why do you do that with the mirrors? Huh? Uh... That turned. That- that turned. That turned! It was not facing that way before. Oh, no. Okay, let's just... Let's- let's- let's just get through this, yeah? I don't like it. I don't- I don't like this at all. Uh... I don't like this. I don't know. Isn't this where I came from? Should I go over here? I don't. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. You know. Don't do that. No, don't do creepy noise effects to try and scare me. How dare you? Okay, we're gonna try going down here first. Um. Uh. uh uh, uh. Please don't do a turnaround scare thing. Oh no, oh no, 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 I heard something. I don't want to turn around. Why is there nothing here besides that hook? I don't understand why I can't read these papers. Like, these look like they're set out for me to read, but I guess not. That's uh, confusing. Whew. Okay, um, we're gonna go this way and we're gonna cry a little more. And. Oh god! I am less jumpy in a real haunted house than I am in this freaking game. What is going on here? Holy shit. Is that a mirror or is that a. I think I just pulled something in my arm from that! Jeez! Oh my god! Ow! <laughs> yeah! I don't. Oh, sweet, there's something for me to read, finally. Whew! Incidents, uh, and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. Okay, so these are all like torn apart from the same thing, so they're kind of like. Stop doing that. Uh, split up. Uh, anyways, the park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is com corrupting uh, the power, even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Mm 
I actually don't know which way I'm meant to go. Don't. Don't. Don't you fucking dare, you zombie bitch. <laughs> you didn't get me that time because I wasn't facing the right way. Whew. Okay. That's good. That's good. Oh, come on. Can we just get out of here now? Okay, this looks like the exit. Hey, guy. Alrighty, then. So is he supposed to be the witch, I guess, maybe? I... He's supposed to be, like... Can I read these? No? Am I supposed to go back here with this power cord that's, like, dangerous and live? Can I go in here? Can I follow him? Oh, cool. I actually can. I can open the door for once. Oh, no. Play the door game, I guess. Oh, can't open that one. Oh, can't open that one. Did my flashlight just die? God damn it. Okay, well, last door opens. There's another teddy bear. Don't leave me. Oh, we can examine this book. Nightmare Circus. Um, yeah. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death uh, by an enraged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Interesting. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go back and read that note. Disconnect notice. Uh, after multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that the service has been disconnected or... Uh disconnected shortly sorry wow um or will be disconnected shortly please do the following make the payment listed on your li last bill uh contact us um at 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected uh two if you believe that this is an error call us uh to discuss your options three if you are unable to make payment please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. Woo. Okay, interesting. I didn't get to really read the back of these books, so I'm gonna do that too. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the sea. It's late. It's it's late. The, the mountains. They found themselves in the mountains with very little to bite or sup. Sup. Uh, it was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world had ever seen. Now, our panel of donor experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to restart to, to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never-before-seen exposed read of how the donor children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive, all here in the pages of this shocking true story. Okay, I want to read the back of that other book over here because they seem pretty like relevant to what's going on, maybe. Um, so the wilting. God, this is hard to figure out how to turn this. Okay, there we go. Um, with this novel, Susan Susan Anscombe. 
uh, cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of the generation. The wilting. A solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global, global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara uh, is the key to saving the world. Again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic. Bombastic? I don't know how to say that word. Everything we've come to expect from an Anscombe novel. Uh, Chance O'Hara is back, and you'd better believe that she is bigger, better, and buller than ever! Thanks. What's that creepy sound? I don't like it. We have... Oh, a hat. Looks like Clementine's hat a little bit from uh, Walking Dead. Uh, okay, let's see this Rubik's Cube here. Whoa, it's a Rubik's Cube that has been left unsolved. Okay. And then what is this? Examine drawing. I love you from Callum. Interesting. Okay. Well, this seems like a good place to stop for video seven, I believe it should be. Um, I will see you guys next time continuing from right here. Okay, bye.